Hi there! One of the best decisions I've ever made has been to become a Google Certified Trainer and a Google Certified Innovator, so I encourage you all to give a try. But when you receive these certifications, you are expected to log your progress in the Activity app. It's crucial to register every action you do, such as PD training, participate in events, publish a post on your blog, create a podcast episode, create a video. This way, Google for Education will be informed about how far you've arrived and the process of recertification will be assured. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log your trainings and much more in the Activity app. Are you ready? Well, let's go there! The first thing you have to do is to open your Chrome browser and type eduactivityapp.withgoogle.com. Log in using Google and the main page of the Activity app appears. In this page, you can report an activity, view all your reported activities, edit your profile, and submit feedback. On the right side, you have the basic information for your profile. Again, there's a link for editing your profile, a summary of your activity, a link for viewing all your activity, and a button to fax and technical support if you need assistance. So we stay at report an activity, but be careful, you don't want to use this first option meetup event to log your training we're going to log a training event you've just completed so let's click this training event we have two options add new single event and upload multiple training in csv file let's click the first one add new single event so imagine you've just completed a pd training this is your name then you have to select the date you did the training the name of the training in the training audience, you select higher education or K-12, depending on the target of your audience. Scroll down, country, in my case, Spain, city. In name of venue or location, you put the name of the school or organization where the training took place. If it were a video, podcast, or blog post, you can put here virtual. In training description, you have to write one or two sentences about the purpose of this event the length of training in hours, the number of trainees, that is how many teachers were in the training. In delivery format, you select if the training was in person or online. In primary areas of focus, you have to select those categories your training was focused on. You can select one, more than one, or even add a custom area. Optionally, you can add any personal note, such as ideas, a link for some resource of the training, or anything you want to keep. May and Google just click on this. That's how her leadership team found and saw my videos. You press preview, and then submit, and that's it, you have logged your training. But imagine you create a video showing the use of a Google tool. So again, we go to report an activity, training event, add single new event, and your name, the date of publication, the name of the video, the training audience, your country, city, town, in name of venue or location, you can put YouTube, a short description, the length of training, and now this field is very important. In number of trainees, specify the number of views. Delivery format would be online in this case, select primary area of focus, and finally you can paste the link of your video, preview, submit, and that's it. You can do the same when you publish a blog post or a podcast episode. I recommend you check the statistics to update regularly once a month, for example, the fill number of trainees. But what if you have so many trainings to register? You can do it all at once. Training event, view template, and a new tab opens with the structure you have to use. So make a copy of this sheet, go to file, make a copy, and fill the sheet. Once you have it, go to File, Download, CSV file, go back to the Activity app, click on Upload Multiple Training CSV, select your file, and that's it. In this video, we've seen how to log trainings and much more in the Activity app. It's very important for you to register every single training and each action related to your Google certifications. I hope this video has been useful for you. See you soon.